Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna update, or I'm gonna update, my eyeshadow project. Uh, use it or lose it. Let's find out what I used and what I'm gonna lose. Um, let's, oh shit, I nearly dropped everything. Um, let's start with the gingerbread palettes. Gingerbread palettes. Too Faced palettes. They're Too Faced palettes. That's the, you get a chocolate bar palette. I'm wondering if I, like, what did I do to this? I've squashed it or I've done something. The magnet is no longer working. It's a bit bung and it's got a dent here, which, how did I do that? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm getting rid of it. Ha ha ha. Yay. I just didn't really vibe with it. I don't mind, I was going to say, I don't mind the matte shades, but Really, there's like three matte shades in here that I actually use. This one, this one, and this one. Um, everything else, I'm like, I just, I don't need it. I don't need it in my life. I feel like I can, like, I can, I've got, I've got this in spades. I've got it in spades. I don't need it. I don't want it. Let's just get rid of it. Okay, gingerbread spice palette. So this one, I like. This is... I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one um, there is you know it's not perfect palette I've already talked about how it's a bit limited with mattes and stuff like that but I like the shimmery shades in here a lot better than the chocolate bar palette um, so this one this one can stay but I am going to I'm gonna retire it I'm gonna retire it I'm gonna chuck something new in the project we're gonna freshen it up um, I do have something else that I'm getting rid of. This here is the NARS Danger Control Palette. So this is six shimmery shades. And I just don't really, I don't, I don't dig this. I feel like on the eyelid, they look a bit like lackluster and, oh, I don't know, just not really that exciting. They're, like, there's some pretty shades in there, don't get me wrong. I just don't feel like this is adding a whole lot to my makeup life. Um, the three like lighter shades here, these two and this one, look very similar on the eyelid. The purple is nice, but it's pretty subtle, kind of ish it's like frosty it's frosty so it's not like a vibrant rich purple like what I'm, I'm I've got going on today um the pink is kind of nice it's sort of like uh oh, it's a little bit like stylishly merry in that fact that it's like a peachy gold duochrome um but it's like I don't I don't need it I've got I've got shit like it. And the yellow is, again, kind of subtle and frosty. And you can see the yellow shift there, but it's nothing special. I just, I don't, I don't need it. Um, I didn't actually buy this. I got it in a PR kit from Mechaland. I think it was last year, maybe. I don't know. Time. Me and time. I don't remember anything. Okay, and then I have my Z palette full of Makeup Geek um, single eyeshadows, the old ones. So I have used these four over here and they can stay. Um, I'm going to keep them in here. Everything that I've used and I'm going to keep goes over here. Everything I haven't used yet goes over here and then declutter shit will go in the bin um <laughs> but at the moment i'm not decluttering anything here i'm still working on this um this is sort of my main focus at the moment like get through these because then i do want to get into some other singles that i have in my collection which i feel like i could whittle them down a lot um, so that's sort of the goal at the moment, but I don't mind these like today I'm wearing this one here, which is, I don't even know if you can get these shades anymore. Like I'm not keeping track of what is being sold by makeup geek. So I'm wearing masquerade, which is the purple gorgeous shade. 
um, and I'm also wearing uh, Chit Chat, which is sort of like a, it's kind of like a periwinkle blue. It's got some purple in there. Goes well with purple. So that one can stay. I like, uh, am I going to use that all day, every day? Fuck. No, I'm not going to use any of these all day, every day. But um, popping it like a little bit over the center of the eyelid, over that purple shade, masquerade, beautiful gives it a little bit of dimension so at the moment in the project all I've got going on is this which is obviously not it's not gonna work for me because I need some mattes now I have actually been playing with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill 2 palette the big one not the vault I don't is it technically the 3 palette no because the Morphe Jaclyn Hill vault was the vault anyway um, Madeline gifted me that palette. She ended up with it and she was like, I do not want this shit, but I know someone who, who did want it. Um, so I've been playing with that. I'm wearing it today as well. I, I like it. I like it. What can I say? Um, but I do need something that like has some mattes and I wanted to go for something that was very brown and boring because I like brown and boring and if I want to inject color I can tell you this is more than enough for me at this current time in my life so I'm bringing back something pretty old um it's this this is the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette so this has actually seen quite a bit of use for me she she grew up she grubby um so you can you can see why I chose it it's so brown and I'm so excited to play with the brown um, I the reason why I chose this I did dig through all of my eyeshadow palettes and I had a look and I was like do I really want to go with Lorac because Lorac has been playing on my mind I've kind of been like hmm wouldn't mind pulling out my Lorac palettes to have a play with them I feel like maybe I played with one earlier this year but like I said, time. I, I can't remember. My memory is like a fucking goldfish. They say they have bad memories. And my, that me too. Same. I'm a goldfish. Um, anyway, so I've been thinking about my Lorac palettes. I've been thinking I want to play with them. Because I actually really, really like their formula. I find it is easy to work with. Um, so today when I was digging in my drawers I was like I want to play with the Lorac palette um, and after I sort of flicked through everything else I had because I knew I I wanted something brown <laughs> I want something so so fucking brown uh, that it was like painful for most people who like color and um, this was just it this was it I do have more brown palettes um, I definitely definitely could have pulled out more but um this i'm going for this and i'm actually really fucking excited to use it i'm also excited to play with eggplant that would have worked well with today's look um so i'm gonna dig into that i'm gonna dig in uh i think the reason why i've been a little bit like ooh, lorac is because i like their new pro palette that they're releasing the the not the mega pro i don't think they're releasing well they're releasing like 6,000 palettes, but in their holiday collection, they've got a new pro palette. And I was like, that's brown and that's pretty and I like it. Uh, but I've got heaps of Lorac palettes, so I don't need to buy that. I can just use one of the many that I already own. So that's where I'm at with the project at the moment. Uh, I know this isn't very much to have in here, but I'm really not wearing makeup very much these days. And I'm not going to like put pressure on myself just to have like you know multiple palettes in the project it's better to just use them at my leisure um something that i want to do between now and the next um update that i film for this series is to do my makeup collection videos now you guys won't see them until december but that's okay because it just means you're gonna have like a whole week of collections and mini declutter videos so if you're looking forward to that it's coming at you for christmas time ish lead up to christmas um so that's my plan and i'm hoping that when i do film my next update for this series i'll have a smaller 
<laughs> um, single eyeshadow collection, which might make it easier for me to actually pick things to put into the project because I did open it today and I was like, should I, I should, I should add some things. Um, but it was a bit like, I don't even know where to start. And also I've got all of those makeup geek singles to get through. Like, I can't, mm, too much, <laughs> too much. Um, so that's sort of like my goal. That's my goal for the next update. So I think I will wrap that up there, guys. If you are doing an eyeshadow project, uh, definitely let me know how you're going with yours. I know at this time of year, um, it can be really like can be difficult because uh, you, you've been going with something for so long all year, especially if you're like panning a single palette. And this time of year, it's the worst. You're either super, super close and you just want it to be done or you're not making as much pro progress as you wish you had. And it's like, are you fucking serious? Eyeshadow, stop multiplying at night. Remember, never ever feed your eyeshadow after midnight. Thank you for the notification phone. I'll be with you in a second. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.